Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 2 uh, Director's Cut Edition on Supreme Jerk Difficulty And it is absolutely Supreme Jerk Mode activated It is time for me to uh, Go over here And this is the Ag Center. Here we go. I don't know what else to do. Still the base is Echo 1. We have Roger Echo 1. Okay. Then listen. Deal with the emergency situation first before proceeding to the satellite dish. Repeat. Talk to Kathy Lawson and take care of her emergency. Then go to the satellite dish and hook up the repeater. Protecting civilians is always a ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Roger, copy. Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger Command out. Alright. I believe a uh, viewer, wonderful viewer that's been giving me tons of info on how to do this. So just I avoid encounters first. And I go for... First of all... I avoid encounters and I go for uh, people I need to go for. No, oh, I just can't move all over that. Okay. Help me, the pain. Something is happening. Ah! Okay, that's a little nightmare fuel. In case anyone needed that. Liquid, I guess. Uh, yep. And these go to that's these go to me. And I'll open up this basic trauma kit. It goes to you. It goes to you. Urgent now. Can I dig on this? I don't know what that is. My bad. Map. Okay. Let's try to get into the Ag Center first. And go ahead and quick save. Because I know okay, which... this is bad. This is kill it with fire bad. What the hell caused this? Kill it with fire bad. I agree with you. We just do a check. Make sure you... Oh my. Armor penetration. I forgot you had that. Five five six. Give that to you. And come over there. Lock picking. Let's do it. I should have quick saved in case it fails. Break of failure. Okay. Mechanical repair, please. Try that again. Let a pro handle this. Okay, let's see the pro at work. Huh? You actually did that time. I'm surprised. I can't believe I look like me and Leo are gonna look like clowns. Because I don't have safe cracking. Oh, come on. Okay. 
I think you're the one as just a repair science. I guess Leo could get into safe cracking. He doesn't have. Oh wait, I have one in safe cracking. Come on, me do it. Oh my. Monocle. A scope. That'll be useful for you. Camp and monocle. Less combat initiative. Oh lord. Coordination increases initiative, right? Is that really worth it? I'm probably not gonna equip that for now. You know what? Um, inventory. Is that worth it? I'm an initiative. Okay. Let's send that to me. Yeah, I. I think that'll be fine. Avoid encounters, they say. Huh. I th Let's see. Looks like we have to go around then. Those giant bunnies gonna pick a fight with me? Hope not. Also, is there a way to... Uh, I guess that's fine. Those are the bugs. I don't think I can avoid encounters. Unless I miss something. Okay, hold up a moment. Did I just go inside there? Is there a way to break that down? No, there's not. Alright, then in that case, I'll just take on the bunnies. We'll take a look at the bunnies first, see what's up with them. Hopefully all is well. These guys, that guy has two armor. Bunnies have one armor, one armor. Alright. Jessica. He's, you know, the thing. Made you a crouch. And crouch. 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 Alright. Counter begins. Now if the bugs aggroed, that'd be a problem, but don't think they have. We got four bunnies. The claws. Okay. There you go. Hands to his. Unusually low. I don't know why. Now you're a circus freak, but that's fine. Where's the other bunnies? I have eyes on one there, there, here, here. Dang, that is far back. Okay, I think we've got this. Right. Okay. Hey, not bad, honestly. Enter. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Go for that. Please go after Lily. Or not. Okay. That is a very angry bunny. Wow. That, that hurt a lot. And they're on us. Okay. Uh, 
minimum range. Minimum range for my gun is... Ah, here it is. Five meters. Okay. Why is my range so low? One, two, three. Yeah. That one should definitely be a high chance to hit. What do you mean there's a low chance to hit? Excuse me? I'm right here. Watch how it's done. Seriously? I hate how shit You didn't do anything. And now I'm gonna die. That's okay, I'll come back. Nice one. Good job, bud. I got this. Please hit. You could have done so much better. I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, thank you, Leo, for dodging that. She has armor, so she's kind of fine. Ah, uh, there's no examine option. Okay, that's fine. Just to, you know. If I switch, can I just melee you and kill you off? Someone, but someone, someone explain to me. Zero percent chance to hit with my fist. Is that because they have overwhelmingly high dodge? I don't want to get too close to the bug, so... Okay. Fine. Yeah, fine. fine. <sighs> There's only so much I can take, I swear. every 15th second. Oh, oh, wait. It doesn't mean it's turn-based. Never mind. I'm all good. <sighs> Why am I not crouched? Uh, my worst enemy is myself. You know what? Just in case, I want to see if this is wrong. Uh, it's, it's definitely right. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. And I need you to use one of these on my buddy. Huh? Uh, get up, get up, get up, get up. What, I can't be revived? I'm going to die? Excuse me? But I need you to wake up. Just get up like the other one did. Oh my goodness, I swear. I freaking swear. I just, I, I can't. I, I I don't understand why I everything was so hard to hit. Let's take a look at this.
The chances to hit should be high. What's going on here? It has to be like their chance to dodge or something because this is ridiculous. Yeah. Can't... Should I take them on instead? No, these guys are actually pretty a lot easier. So, you know what? I will get back to you guys since tech we already won the fight, actually. Alright guys, I cleared that up. <sighs> we all sucked at that, but however, my character with the pistol is phenomenal on this fight. Uh. <sighs> Goodness. Huh? Where'd the pelts go? Oh, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and, um... We're not gonna heal up just yet because I'm supposed to be coming up on a... A medic? As well? Maybe they'll be a little better at this than I am? Hopefully. And she didn't hurt herself this time. Awesome. Plants and whatnot. For you. Um, okay. Okay. Oh my Alright. I had swapped. Everyone reload. I don't think that easy they're gonna come close enough. Okay. What do we got here? Yeah. Deck of cards. Scrap. Ooh. Decent mass scrap. Uh, and I'm Hello, by the doors. Can you hear me? Excuse me. What did you guys just do? Please don't waste our ammo. Okay. Fine. I will send Lillian over there by herself then. <sighs> Hello, by the doors. Can you hear me? You tricks better be the damn rangers. We've been calling for help for hours. The plants have gone crazy. Uh. You need help? Yes, we need help. What have I been saying? I'm opening the doors now. Oh. Loading pot, pot fragment. Okay. Yep, uh, we're going in there because guys hurt. Yep. A tall woman with dark skin and high cheekbones. 
She wears a white lab coat and has her hair pulled back in a no-nonsense bun, which she has... Ugh, sorry about that. Has stuck a much-chewed pin. She does not look happy to see you. Rangers, where have you been? I mean, be happy we came Ms. here Lawson, at all. Meet the new recruits. Recruits, meet Ms. Lawson. Forget the friendly introductions, Angie. Wasn't the deal we made with the Rangers? We give you food, you give us protection. Well, your recruits are looking pretty goddamn well fed, but we've been up to our tits in killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a Ranger in sight. <sighs> you should take it from here, recruits. Learning to deal with angry citizens is part of the job. Okay, uh, killer tomatoes. And killer pumpkins and killer fruit flies. All of a sudden, all our plants start growing out of control, mutating, exploding, attacking my people. It's like they've gone rabbit or something. Didn't you hear our distress call? We've been calling for help forever. Oh, sounds like a personal problem. But, um... Well, we're here now and ready to help. About time. Now listen, we think the mutations stem from contamination in our irrigation system. Unfortunately, the computer that operates the pumps seems to be malfunctioning and we can't shut it off remotely. Maybe its circuits are overloaded from all the alarms going off. The computer is down the corridor past the airlock behind us. I can open that lock, but if you're going to do your job and rescue our guys, see Rose. She has the current override codes for the greenhouse airlocks. Either way, we'll lead you to the computer room eventually. If you can get the computer working, you can shut down the pumps from there. If not, you'll have to go into the east and west fields and turn off the valves by hand. Now get going before any more of my people die. Well, you know about the computer. Sometimes I think that thing is more trouble than it's worth. It's supposed to automate all our irrigation and feeding, but it seems to be like on the fritz most of the time. No, oh, that sucks. You pe your people are in danger. And I rose, and I managed to get safety, but the others... Oof. Matt, uh, tell me about Rose. She is our best researcher. She's in her lab trying to find out what went wrong, but even if she figures it out, she's an old lady. There's no way she could go in there to fix it. That's why we called the Rangers. Who's Matt for Restle? He's the man in the wheelchair at the monitor desk. Hey, Rangers. He's the one who called Ranger Sedil eight hours ago. All right. All right. Uh, it's like retail all over again. He was hurt. The plants have begun growing strange exploding pods. He got caught in a blast. His whole left side is a mess. That sounds like a bad issue. Ellis is in trouble. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Researchers and the farmers are still out in the fields and greenhouses. We've been watching them die one by one in, on the Myers while you butterballs have been off somewhere circle jerking each other. And for some of them, it's been even worse. What could be worse than death? You saw her, that thing you met out front? She was one of my assistants. All of them were our people, and now they're, I don't know what they are, pod people? Eh? I mean, that's, it could be an evolution. You have a minor system? Yes, the whole facility is rigged with cameras and aircom. The plants have wrecked in places. It's been horrible seeing what's going on, but not able to help. How about you don't watch then? I understand you have to uh, see what's going on, but come on now. Just lay out facility. East and West are greenhouses for the testing. Westfield is for fruits and veggies. Eastfield is for the animals. And quarters for farmers and big enclosures on either side. Okay. I'm going. What happened to the farmers? I already forgot all that. I've been watching them die for hours. <laughs> I know those men. They were good friends and now they're gone. Yep. What happened to researchers? Researchers were in the greenhouses mostly. A lot of the cameras were obscured by plant growth, so I don't know what happened to them, but there were terrible screams. They're probably dead. Tell me about the explained pods. As if the rest of this craziness wasn't enough, the plants are also starting to explode. 
Get too close to one of those red pods and bam. Oof. Huh. Come to think of it, everyone who's changed into one of those pod people got blasted first. Oh. If I could get one of those pods to study intact, I might be able to come up with a cure. You'll need, I suppose, My a apologies. handful of fragments of pods. Let's say 10 would do the trick if you can't manage to collect a whole one. If we don't find a cure, the infection will surge back and we'll all be dead. Tell me about the lab. Our research lab where we experiment with new breeds is down the hall to the east. What's well and wrong with the plants? First things to start with some contamination in the fertilization system. She also thinks it's deliberate sabotage. I think that, but whatever it is, all the vegetation growing out of control. I'm eating the insects too. They're enormous. I saw the big bunnies. The insects, how big are we talking? I saw a fruit fly as big as bald ego. It has a stinger like a fucking scimitar. Alright, I'm out of here. Good luck, guys. <laughs> no giant bugs, no. <laughs> you think someone from Ag Center is behind this? I hope not. I don't want to think that anyone here would do this. They're, we're a happy family. We all want the same thing. To make the wasteland green again. What do you think of the desert range? Oh, Lord. Matt sure talks you all up, but so far you're about as impressive as a wet fart. We're investigating a distant signal and need to use a radio dish. Can you tell us where it is? You want to use our radio dish now. Can you see we're in the middle of a fucking crisis? Fuck you. Go find it yourselves. All right. We, we already have some pod fragments. Here they are. Great, we're getting there. Keep searching until you find enough to complete my research. Ten turtles should do it. All right. Looks like ah, uh, that wasn't too bad for all the text. Yes, go do your job. I'll open the central airlocks for you now. But remember, we might have people trapped in the greenhouses, so talk to Rose for the door codes. Where is she again? Oh my. Oh my. Lane square shouldered guy in a flannel shirt and jeans. He would look trim and healthy if his left arm and leg weren't all wrapped up in bandages. And his face all bruised and sliced up. Face looks fun to me. He winces as he shifts around to look at you. But then a big grin as you approach. Matt, good to see you. Oh shit, what happened to you? Angie got hit by one of those exploding pods. Uh, are you okay? Oh, Kathy says she can fix me up. I hope so. Hurts like the dickens. Well, take care, Matt. Hmm. I recognize the uniforms, but not the faces. Y'all must be new recruits. Hope this ain't your first dance, though, because I got the feeling it ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Name's Matt Forrestall. Well, I guess I'm the boss around here. Used to wear one of them stars, though, back in the day. You used to wear the badge? Yes, indeed. I was a ranger. Back before old Vargas' hair turned gray and Ace was just still a three of clubs. Quit to run the Ag Center after I took a bullet in the gut. Missed any organs, but I just couldn't move like I used to. Have you heard about Ace's death? Yeah, I heard. Bet I knew before the Rangers did. Damn shame. Wish I could have gone to his retirement party. Hope you kids did him proud. How did you know about Ace? Heard about it from one of our farmers named Skinner. Said he talked to some wandering merchant who traveled with him and seen the attack recognized ace by his description <laughs> that crazy hair of his <laughs> wait can you tell me about skinner he helps cultivate the fungi in the mushroom caves good man if a little too partial to snake squeezings 
Last I saw of him, he was in the mushroom caves looking for his family right after the plants went loco. Someone tell me in the comments, what does snake squeezins mean? Do you know anything about the attack that killed Ace? Sorry. Wish I did. Skinner just said the merchant told him it was a strange man, but that was all. Maybe you can get more out of him. Have any snake squeezins? That's some foul stuff. Like gin. It was made in a bathtub somebody died in. Oh, okay. Never mind, guys. Yeah, it does take the edge off from time to time, though. Gin that was made in a bathtub someone died in. Oh, Lord. Alright. <laughs> That's also quite descriptive. Mushroom caves? They're below the center. You can get to them through the computer room. Perfect for growing fungi down there. I don't like the way you say that. Who was this merchant? Don't know anything else about him. You're welcome to ask Skinner. If he's still alive. What can you tell me about Ag Center? Damn proud of this place. Signed on here because I figured there were ways other than shooting bad guys that I could make the wasteland a better place. And make a profit at the same time. Not doing too bad at it either. <laughs> Got a little distribution deal with the rail nomads, and hopefully, soon we'll be keeping the local communities fat and happy. Even Ranger Citadel. Of course, this little crisis might change all that. Serious setback. I'm still glad I went here. Maybe this change. Uh, does this like change the story in a way? By choosing this over the other place? Because we can't help the other place now. Um, they grow food, so maybe that's good. What do you know about the crisis? Don't know what happened exactly. Rose seems to think our irrigation system's been monkeyed with. Whatever it is, everything in the facility is mutating faster than we can keep track of. The plants are growing weird, exploding pods, the insects are as big as bear cats. Even the men. I don't know what they're turning into, but it's horrible. It's gotta be stopped. Tell me about Rose. One of our researchers, a mentor to all the rest of us. I think she's working down the hall to the left there. Where are these exploding pods? They're red seed pods that explode when you get close to them. That's what happened to me. Tried to go in and pull one of the farmers out. Damn pod went off like a grenade. Still haven't got all the shrapnel out either. Stings like damnation. Didn't the other person we talked to say that everyone that's been hit by a pod has turned into that one of those exploding humans? Huh. Hmm. How can we stop the outbreak? Well, I don't know if we're going to manage to find a way to reverse all this, but we got to at least stop it from getting worse. And that means we got to get that irrigation system turned off. You already talked to Kathy about that. Right? How did she get hurt? Got a little too close to one of those exploding pods. Now I got a little plant shrapnel souvenir. No big deal. You have any... Mm, I may wrote real nomads. Yeah. Once they get themselves straightened out, we plan to use their rail lines to ship to all our customers. But until we can stop this crisis and make sure the food is safe again... Nobody's going to get fed. What do you mean by distribution? Well, the food ain't doing any good if it just sits here and rots, is it? I let the researchers figure out the best way of growing things. My job is to get it to the people. What do you do as the boss? Normally, just keep everything organized and humming along. Today, get blown up, fail to help my people, I, I guess... Sorry, Rangers. Uh, I don't mean to be all self-pity and rain clouds. Just having a shitty day. Uh, I feel you, man. How are your people faring? We've lost a lot of good ones, but I'm damn proud of everyone. We haven't had widespread panic. Tensions aren't spilling over too bad. Folks are doing their honest best trying to help where they can. Good. If you find anyone as you make your way into the complex, I'll make sure you get commendations and compensation for helping them out. 
Oh, you know how to speak my language. Do you have any supplies stocked up we could use? Things are a little paltry right now, but you know, I've got some gear you can make use of. All right. Let's sell all our junk. Yeah. Look. A rabbit's foot. A poor rabbit. Um... 12 gauge. Let's sell this. One dollar each? No. I could I could just not sell that. That seems better. Um uh, my current sickle. It's literally the exact same. Okay. Why is that so expensive? It's junk. Oh well. Filter rifles. Oh my god, it's better. Uh, this one is better for you. I don't know why I just... I should have got, given you the other one. Did I? Did I? That's expensive. I don't think I'm going to. No. I'm bear with uh, sharp weapons. Thanks. Goodbye. Thanks for coming by, Rangers. Always good to see new recruits taking their first steps into the big wide world. Ah. <sighs> what a world this is. Alright, 556. Wait, we use 762, don't we? I get so much pistol ammo, I swear. That's the good thing about pistols, though, right? 556. No. Uh, uh, that's what we use. Alright, uh, everyone, make sure you reload. Okay. There's the uh, right side, right? I have so many bullets! Wow! Also usable in SMGs. Ooh. Look. Um, we have minus two to animal whisper, so literally anyone but you. Okay. Critical chance, evasion, chance to bonus action point per turn. Per level. Chance to evasion. Listen, I don't need to be an animal, super. Let's go to you. Oh wait, I can't go to you. You know what? Here. Leo, you're not lucky at all, so let's make you lucky. Hey, that's why I need to sell. Got any other weapons here? On your barrel. So I can put a scope and a barrel. Okay. In that case, I'll hold on to this. We'll have a uh, Lily go ahead and sell that to him. Sorry, uh, dang, that's some decent money there. I really should, should I? It's the jam, 2%. 8 round capacity, 20 round capacity. Hang on, I'm gonna hold off, I'm gonna hold off. Good. Good luck. Right. Rangers. Oh. Howdy, recruits. <laughs> How'd you do in there? Uh, 
I'm going to uh, hop in here alone. Rangers, I'm seeing one of our researchers near your position. Is that Winston? Help is coming, Winston. Watch it. Looks like the pods are triggered by sudden movement. Dang it. Oh, okay, so we got literally one. Hey, you there? Or, okay. Okay. Bomb melee weapons. It's for you, bud. For you. Wow, that was uh that was pretty good. My died in it this morning. Oh jeez. That's not good. Guys, guys, please, please come in here and help me. Uh. Lock with an explosive trap. I have trap disarmament, right? Who has trap disarmament? One of us has the ability to disarm traps. Just who is it? There. Eh? Am I am I blind? Don't you have it? I don't know. I don't know. Dang it. Okay, well. We're good. We're good. Alright, if I move. Huh. Oh. Alright. The fatal. Handling plants between the gravely wounded might be where they can escape. Oh. Jessica? Please don't fail. It might be bad if you fail. This is a person, after all. Hey, man, you're alive. Something comforting about being held that tight, so yeah. Don't worry, you won't be lonely much longer. Uh, where is Rose? 
hell? Uh, where is Rose? Hold on. Matt's office. Ag Center. Where, 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 Rose? all seems pretty simple. Hey, I see you there. I see you. Don't think you can escape me. Those to repair. Let's go. Ow. Actually really hurt. You have an undertaker. Well, so much for that. Need to code or someone to hack it. Okay. So that's the coded thing. Now let's head over to the right side. How are we doing on time here? It's close. Yeah, that that's uh that's gonna have to wait. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. If it isn't Dr. Rose. Still as creepy as ever, I see. Hello, Angela, dear. Still as fearful and technophobic as ever, I see. <laughs> After what I've been through, can you blame me? Robot arms make me nervous. Literally, they can't, they're they attached to a person. Uh, oh, well, I guess, I guess she's been through a lot. Do you say the same to your old friend, Gilbert? I understand he has a new leg now. I hate that thing. I told him not to get it. You would rather he was still lame? That's it. Lame. By lame, they mean a term where... Not a term like he's lame, he sucks, or anything like that. Something else. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> Sorry to be so brusque, children. Everything in this room is an experiment in progress, and not to be disturbed. Now, what can I do for you? I assume you're the help that Matthew and Catherine said was coming from the uh, Ranger Citadel? It, what's your take on Catherine? She's a bright young thing. I taught her all I know about plants and seeds. And she has gone on to outstrip me in every way. A sponge for knowledge. I hope she can figure out the root of this madness. It's got me stumped. What do you know about this madness? It has to be contamination in the irrigation system. We feed the plants a brew of nutrients through a series of pipes. I can only think that some strange toxin got into the mixture. Unfortunately, the computer that controls the system seems to be stuck in feed mode. And none of us who made it to the lobby is savvy enough to repair it. What do you think of Matthew? He's our fearless leader and a dear, dear boy. Things have really improved here since he took over. I hope that exploding pod didn't do him any lasting damage. We need him now more than ever. I don't think it can tell us any more, anything new, Many but... Many of the plants are growing them now. They explode when you get near them. What's strange is some of the infected farmers and researchers are growing pods too. As if they were becoming plants as well. Researchers I don't understand it. are in trouble. Those men and women are some of my best friends. And now, <laughs> I'm afraid they're changing just like the farmers. If you are willing to dare the greenhouses, you might be able to save some of them. I hope. What can you tell us about the greenhouses? 
The greenhouses are where we test new species. There's one on either side of the central corridor. I'm afraid a lot of my fellow researchers are trapped in there, if they haven't already transformed. I have the airlock codes to go in there, but I don't know if I dare. Not alone. The farmers are infected? You didn't see them out in the yard? You're lucky. They're attacking everything that moves. And I'm afraid the poor fellows in the east and west fields will be affected too. What do you think of the rangers? I know all about the rangers. I've been around a long time, after all. I even remember when you took over the citadel from its former occupants. You know about them? Oh yes, the guardians of the old order. I suppose that was before your time. But they gave the rangers quite a fight. Almost one, in fact. I'm sure your veterans will tell you all about it. What can you tell us about the guardians of the old order? As I said, you should ask the other rangers about them. What kind of experiment were you doing? We at the Accent are constantly looking for newer, safer ways to improve crop yield and wholesomeness. This lab is where that experimentation takes place. That's a pretty high-tech left hand you, you have there. Uh, oh, that? I lost it in a gardening accident. A traveling doctor gave me the new one. Quite a gadget, isn't it? If it seems I'm, I'm rushing through this, I do want to see all their uh, excess texts. Text? Excess? Um, they're like side texts, but... Dang, there's a lot in this game. I don't know if you guys remember, I think it was the first episode. Um, uh, Angela here gave me like over 10 minutes of text. Um, do you know how it works? I'm a botanist, not an engineer. But it's almost as dexterous as the old one. I've gotten quite used to it. I wish I could say the same about the fuel cell that powers it. What's that? It... I, I shouldn't have brought it up. I, I don't like to talk about it. It's some kind of high-tech power source. The unsettling thing is that the doctor implanted it in my chest. I have a glowing blue gem set right into my sternum. And no, you can't see it. I'm much too old to be flashing my lady bumps. <laughs> what can you tell us about the doctor? She said she was from the east of the old prison, which is odd now that I come to think of it. Radiation's closed off the way east for years. I mean, don't tell me in the comments you can get a rat suit. And just hop on through there. Do you have the airlock codes? Yes, I have the greenhouse codes. But listen. I want to come with you. I need more samples if I'm going to make sense of this mess. If you let me come with you, I'll take you through the doors myself. And I can help you find your way around. And don't worry, I have a gun. I can take care of myself. What please, do you say? Please tell me it's an energy weapon. A gun? Every rose has its thorns, children. Mine's an antique. Never mind. Can I join you? Yes. Excellent. Let me just turn this burner off and I'll be all ready. We can stock up for my lab supplies if you'd like. Rose's thorn. Oh, it's a handgun. Okay. No, it's a... It's a hand shotgun. Okay. It says it's handgun, but that that's shotgun ammo. Ooh, skills. Surgeon up. Come out healed. Wait, really? Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Twelve points. Twelve points. Medic one. Uh, if I send that to 28 to 39. Ah, uh, that, yeah, it's not the same thing. Okay, so. Doesn't matter who distributes these, I guess. There's no boost. Yep, give that to you. Give that to you. And she doesn't need any extra ammo right now. 
Pure science. Ooh. That's nice. Can I expect into that a bit? I'd need a little at the time. Roboticist. Okay. I like her already. She's the same level as us. And now we have one of these. One of the pages. Formulas. Ah, uh, there's the codes. On revival. Awesome. In that case, though, let's go ahead and heal some people up. It may look disorganized in here, but I know where everything is. Success? Wait, there's a chance to fail. I'm gonna go ahead and heal you up a bit. You have 50 health missing. Hopefully I get a high roll here. You have 51. Eh, that's a pretty low roll, honestly. I go ahead and use this on you. Lily, you have 47. Let's see what you get. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I should have used the medkit on me. Oh well. Here we go. I've been told that by awesome people, by a viewer, a commenter, viewer, and a commenter, that once we into their actual citadel in the ranger's place uh we will have access to free healing hurrah so there's that pnt five six yep that's all Every card. You take shotgun shells, and we can give the rest of our shotgun shells to you. That's very nice. Very, very, very nice. Pick up. Lap journal. Lap journal. Oh my goodness. Why are you poking around? Ah. Uh, I like that. I like that sort of thing. Yeah. I'll read that another time. Okay. I think we're actually go in there. I asked one of our techs to secure some of my valuables. I don't think I have the skill to disable the rather aggressive countermeasures on the safe. Alright, I think it's time to end the episode there. As usual, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, maybe even subscribing. I hope to catch you all again next time when I... Mm, I'm sure we will cut into a lot more combat. I know this episode was mainly a lot of text. Probably a solid 30 minutes of text. But we did get battle on. Battle against the bunnies. The super dodgy bunnies. <laughs> It was so much easier when my character, Aesops, did not die, because he was the literal savior in that fight. Um, but yeah. <coughs> That's it, guys. I hope to see you all again next time, when we might be able to take back the entire Ag Center. Ooh. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you then.